Hi, I'm Ben from Universal Audio, and today I'm going to be showing you a few tricks for using the Century Tube Channel Strip plugin on vocals and guitars. And to be the vocalist and guitarist for today, I brought along my good friend, Marty O'Reilly. Yeah. So Marty's going to be playing and singing for us, and I'm going to be giving you some tips and tricks for using the Century Tube Channel Strip to make your tracks sound awesome right out of the gate. Let's get started. So as you can see, I've got a couple of microphones already set up for Marty. I've got an SM57 on his guitar and a Rode NT2A for his vocal. And I've plugged both of these into my UA Aero audio interface. So I've got the console software open, and now I'm gonna insert Century Channel Strip into the Unison slot. Marty, let's go ahead and have you just start playing guitar, and I'll tweak the settings as you're playing, dial in something that sounds good, and then we'll talk about why it sounds good. Okay, cool. So, you know, the microphone's about, what, a foot away from your 12th fret, you know? Uh, and this is obviously a, a bright sounding guitar. This is a very quiet microphone. Uh, so I've cranked the gain up to the high mode. And then as you were playing, I just used the level knob, just brought that up until I was getting a pretty good amount of volume. Uh, and then as you were playing, I kicked in the compressor. What's great about the Century compressor is that it's just one knob. Mm -hmm. Like, there's not a ton of settings to deal with here. So you can turn it on and you'll see the meter up there start to work. If, if you see it doing a lot or if it's just like constantly compressing, it might not sound the best, especially on guitar. Like you really just want to like catch any sort of like smacks or like loud moments. You just want to like level those out, mm -hmm. but not really like, you know, compress it. Yet. Yeah. So then after compressing it, just tweak the EQ, add some low end to give some more body to the sound. Uh, worked with the mid-range, and the thing I really like about the mid-range on this plugin is that it goes all the way from 300 hertz to 7.2K. So it gives you a super wide range to really dial in your tone. Uh, so for your guitar, I kept it in that low mid area, again, just adding a little bit more body to the sound. Uh, this microphone does great in terms of like presence. Uh, and then that top end, the little 10K, kind of add a, add a little flavor up there as well because that's like your fingers and the slide you just hear those like details coming through mm -hmm. uh so one other thing i noticed when you play sometimes you, you got a little foot tap action mm -hmm. going on totally cool there's actually a high pass filter built into it so all that low end rumble that would come up through the microphone mm -hmm. it can actually just lop all that off great yeah man uh i think this guitar is sounding great can we check out the vocal now yeah sure uh, so go ahead and uh, sing and play at the same time. I'm going to mute the guitar track on here, so we're just listening to the vocal. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do the same thing, kind of just load up Century, start tweaking with the settings, and then we'll, uh, we'll look at what I did afterwards. Sounds good. Cool. So let's mute that. Pull up Century. Cool. Go for it. If I had my way, girl, Lori. I would tear this building, tear this building down. Delilah, she was a woman, both fine and fair. Had good looks, God knows, and coal black hair. She sat down on old Samson's knee and said, Tell me where your strength lies. If you please If I had my way If I had my way If I had my way, good Lord I would tear this whole building down Nice. Yeah, man. That sounds really good. 
so similar scenario here. This is kind of the workflow I typically go through when I'm setting up on the way in. Get the gain right. You know, get your levels kind of working in a good spot. Mm -hmm. See if the compressor is helping. Add a little bit of EQ and then kind of look at the gain again. Uh, so it's really helpful, like when you're playing a couple of phrases in a row, like what you just did. You know, you'll see sometimes just kind of chill, and then you know when you reach up for another note, you get a little bit louder. Mm -hmm. That's where you see like the compressor start kicking in, and you may even see these overload lights. Mm -hmm. They may flash a little bit red. It doesn't mean like you're clipping. That doesn't mean that you've like lost anything. Mm -hmm. That just means it's about to give you some saturation, a little sauce, which uh, can actually enhance the emotion of a track. So what you really want to do is you really want to make sure that you're in control of that saturation. Um, so that means knowing where all your gain stages are, you know, that big low high knob, the level knob. And sometimes like if you're working with a microphone that just gives you a lot of signal and it feels like you've turned everything all the way down, it's still overloading things. The great thing is that there's also a pad on all the UA interfaces. So that means that it'll actually bring the mic level down before it hits the preamp, which gets rid of all those overloads. Mm -hmm. And now we got a great sounding vocal. So now it seems like a pretty good time to go ahead and record a full take. Uh, and let's do one with a Century channel strip, and then let's do another one just totally clean. So that way we can really hear the difference that's making. Okay. Cool. All right. Whenever you're ready, sir. If I had my way if I had my way If I had my way Good Lord, I would tear this building I would tear this whole building down Well, Delilah, she was a woman Both fine and fair Had good looks, got nose and cold black hair she sat down on old Samson's knee She said, tell me where you sang like if you please If I had my way If I had my way If I had my way, good Lord I would tear this building I would tear this whole building down Nice. So that sounded really good, man. Let's do one more take. Uh, and this time I'm going to turn the Century Tube Channel Strip off. And we're going to go totally clean. And we can really hear the difference that that whole channel strip's making. Sounds good. Cool. Let's give it a shot. If I had my way. If I had my way If I had my way, good Lord I would tear this building out and tear this whole building down Delilah, she was a woman both fine and fair Had good luck, got nose and cold black hair she sat down on old Samson's knee She said, tell me where your strength lies If you please If I had my way If I had my way If I had my way, good Lord I would tear this building I would tear this whole building down Awesome. Nice, man. Uh, so that sounded great. You know, I kind of preferred the first take with the Century, mainly because, you know, it was kind of controlling the vocal in a really nice way. Like, you know, your quiet parts sounded present and great. And then when you got a little bit louder, added just a little bit of grit, but without sounding clipped or anything like that. Um, but by having that really easy to use compressor on the first take, it actually kind of helped bring those peaks down um, in a you know very musical way. So yeah, let's let's listen to this one more time. I'm just gonna play back the century and then I'll play back the clean and we can hear what those differences are. 
She sat down on old Samson's knee She said, tell me where you sang like If you please If I had my way If I had my way If I had my way, good Lord I would tear this building I would tear this whole building down so that's with, and now here's without. Sam says me, she said, tell me where your strength lies, if you please, if I had my way, if I had my way, if I had my way, good Lord, I would tear this building, I would tear this whole building down. Mm -hmm. So you, you can hear that difference instantly, right? Mm -hmm. Just the presence and kind of the fullness yeah. with Century on it. And then when you take that off, it's a little cleaner sounding, but it doesn't have that same sort of attitude to it. And detail, I can hear a lot more of the subtleties with everything on there too. Yeah, totally. Great. So that's a couple of tricks for using the Century Tube Channel Strip plugin. Now, as you saw, the workflow is super simple. Set up the gain, add a little bit of compression, a little bit of EQ, and you've got incredible sounding tracks going into your DAW. Now, for more info, details, and tips, check out the UAD user's manual. And if you're already a UA audio interface or UAD2 hardware owner, you can actually download the latest version of the software and demo this plugin for 14 days for free right now. So go ahead, check it out, and I'll see you guys later. <laughs>